गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई एम गायत्री ओपल एंड आई वर्क एज एसोसिएट डायरेक्टर ग्राम्स एट द शेरगिल सुंदरम आर्ट फाउंडेशन और एस एस ए एफ ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ दी एस एस ए एफ आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सटेंड अ वॉम वेलकम एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस फॉर दिस इवनिंग इवेंट अ लेक्चर टाइटल वॉट वी टॉक अबाउट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट फोटोग्राफी बाई डेविड कैंपनी क्यूरेटर राइटर एंड एजुकेटर chaired the lecture will be chaired by madhuban mitra artist and educator this will be followed by a statement by the jury of the umrao sin shergil grant for photography uh, david campany who is the jury chair madhuban mitra and vidya shivdas uh, and this will be followed by the announcement of the 2023 grantee i will begin by briefly introducing ssaf ssaf was established in 2016 with the mandate to carry forward the legacy of scholar and photographer umra singh shergil his daughter and a pioneering figure of modern indian art amrita shergil and her nephew and niece artist vivan sundaram and filmmaker and television journalist navina sundaram since its inception the foundation's mandate has been to support and enable conjunctions of artistic and cultural practice that deal with historical memory with a view towards building futures based on secular principles and freedom of expression ssaf is committed to advancing creative independence and supporting alternative and heterodox practices and i encourage you to visit our website ssaf.in to learn more about our programs established in 2015 the umrao singh shergil grant for photography recognizes a photographer's commitment to stage and documentary photography projects Umrao Singh Shergil born in 1870 was a scholar of Persian and Sanskrit who spent a contemplative life in pursuit of knowledge of the arts and the philosophy of religion his photographic practice in keeping with his reclusive nature was a private affair and his principal subjects were his family and himself in 2007 a retrospective exhibition of umrao singh's modern and vintage prints was held at the reconfort al photography festival in france followed by exhibitions at the national gallery of modern art in delhi and mumbai this retrospective having garnered critical attention umrao singh was recognized as a photographer of considerable importance His self-portraits span almost 60 years and make up a unique archive. He is now regarded as a pioneering figure of the mise-en-scene or staged photography in India. Since 2022, SSAF has pledged two annual photography grants in Umrao Singh's name to encourage independent voices in photography. The Umrao Singh Shergil Grant for Photography 2023 will be awarded to two projects. one using the staged image and the other documentary photography the grants are intended to support photographers who have become begun work uh, working on their projects and need financial assistance to complete them it is my pleasure to now invite our jury for the 2023 umrao singh shield grant for photography david campany madhuban mitra and vidya shivdas uh to announce to make the jury statement and to announce the grantees of the 2023 um yeah. umrao singh shergil grant for photography i haven't introduced vidya but i'll do a very quick introduction vidya shivdas is a curator based in delhi she is the director of the foundation for indian contemporary uh, indian contemporary art a non-profit arts organization that works in the field of arts education and aims to broaden the audience for contemporary indian art enhance opportunities for artists and establish a continuous dialogue between the arts and public through education and active participation in public art projects shivdas has curated a number of exhibitions at the vidyara art gallery since 2005 as well as guest curated exhibitions at devi art foundation shiranada museum of art <coughs> edinburgh art festival she was the visual arts curator for serendipity art festival 2023 Shivdas is visiting faculty at the School of Culture and Creative Expressions Ambedkar University Delhi since 2013.
I now request the jury to deliver the statement and announce the grantees. Okay. So, Gayatri actually made me write this, so I prefer to extemporize because I feel alive. So, if I suddenly sound like an AI version of myself, it's because I'm reading. So I'll try and animate it. So, uh, I've had a fantastic time here. Most of it, we were kettled in a small room with very little oxygen and a lot of images. We never felt there were too many images, did we? Three of us discussing these submissions for the grant. Now, it has become commonplace to open a jury statement with a general diagnosis of the state of photography. But of course, the state of photography is always crisis, always transition, it's always under threat, it's always at a pivotal moment. Uh, we can take this for granted. Uh, there has been no moment when photography was not troubled, either technically or artistically or socially, politically, philosophically. It's much less commonplace to hear the positive side of this diagnosis. Uh, looking at the submissions for this grant, it became very clear that a great deal of exciting and important work, photographic work, is being made in contemporary India. The range of ways in which the image is being engaged is extraordinarily wide and ambitious, despite the permanent crisis that photography is always in. The age range of the photographers is also wide. We've received submissions from established practitioners with decades of professional experience. We've received submissions from students, recent graduates, young photographers, often entirely self-taught working away from the country's traditional centers of art and culture. We've had submissions from image makers working in well-established genres and idioms and from experimenters finding the form for what they are doing in the midst of doing it. Now, the purpose of this grant is to support projects which are already showing great potential but are in need of vital help. It's not a grant to kickstart brand new projects uh, nor to put the icing, of the icing on the cake for projects that are already completed. So what we were looking for, more than anything, was promise. Those vital signs and green shoots that appear when an original and ambitious direction begins to take form. This is always a delicate moment, when excitement is often tempered by doubt in the face of life's realities. Will there be time to pursue the work? Will there be resources? Will there be finances? And just as importantly, in the sometimes dark and lonely days of bringing a project into the world, will there be any voices of support and affirmation? The Umrao Singh Shergill Grant aims to offer all of these. Now, to administrate a grant such as this requires a very dedicated team, and the three of us would like to thank the whole team for their hard work, which has helped the duties of the jury run so smoothly. We were fed and watered, and everything worked technically very well, and everything was very well organized, just leaving us to get down to the discussion. We'd also like to thank all those dedicated image makers who submitted their work. It was a pleasure to see it all. That's the only reason I ever take up the invitation to be on a jury. It's not to play God. It's just to see all of the submissions, just so I know what's going on. It's re certainly really important for me, and I'm sure I can speak for Vidya and Madhavan too. The standard of work we looked at was high, and we deliberated for over three days. From a long list, uh, we got it down to 11 projects, and then we came, came down to four projects. And from these four, there are, firstly, uh, two photographers deserving of an honourable mention. Oh, someone else is. There's the work of Anna Pam Divan. Am I describing this, or are you doing it? I'll do it. I, will. I can do it. You can do it. Yeah. This is more ceremonial than anything that everyone in the jury is getting a chance to see. But uh, it's also to, to just to share the joy of being part of this process, to be with Madhuvan and David, 
and to look through all of these applications very meticulously put together by all the wonderful people who applied. And thank you so much to the Shegel Syndrome Arts Foundation for, and to all the team there, Gayatri, Saurav, Ratika, Metli, who have really worked on putting this together uh, and working on this for many days, and Devika as well, of course. Um, so the two honorable mentions, one is Anupam Devan, a wonderful photographer from Chhattisgarh who's been living in Bombay. Um, and we really loved his images for his beautifully measured and attentive documentation of the town of Tilda, uh, which, was, which is his hometown and to which he returns and has been returning since 2017. Uh, and taking these very beautiful black and white photographs, which are very slow and absorbing, and a result of a very quite mature and dedicated vision. Uh, his images are witnessing this small town in central India, a landscape offered to the cement factories and the rice mills and the infrastructure that has been put in place for them. Uh, so, you know, he was somebody that we really uh, felt deserved mention. Um, the other person is Avijit Ghosh from Kolkata for his experimental documentary re response to the precarious lives of people on the islands of the Sundarbans. And we had a lot of ecological projects coming from the east of India, definitely from Bengal uh, and Assam, uh, which were very interesting and there was a lot of involvement. Um, Avijit addresses both the material conditions of the people and the materiality of the photograph itself and uh, closing the gap between the image and the world it expresses. Uh, so he would, uh, in this particular series, he also spoke about this experimentation that he had done of submerging the prints in saline water and then also thinking of ways in which uh, the photographs and the prints can be further inscribed with voices of people, young people specifically, who he had been speaking to and who he had been working with to speak about those experiences. So there was an interesting way he was working with the photograph with the materiality of it, which we thought was also wonderful, and the images themselves. So, yeah. And now maybe <laughs> over to Sorry, the jury chair should announce the winners. <laughs> oh, the drama. <laughs> so those were the two honourable mentions, and congratulations to them. Um, now for the two winners, uh, Pratika Menon, Project Dawn. <laughs> Preska, are you here? Oh my goodness, come up here. Great pleasure. A great, great honor, well done. Do you want to say anything? Or shall I describe your work a little bit? Please, go ahead. Well, th this is what the jury had to say for her project, Don, too, which promises to be a profound and poetic exploration of her relationship with a family she met by chance and the twin sisters at its heart, uh, with a delicate balance of documentary description and gentle surrealism, Prescott's poetic vision is sure to blossom into something very special. And we really did feel like this project was on the verge of something. And that's always a very, very exciting moment. And Prescott actually, we looked at all the images first and then read the statements. And then when we read Prescott's statements, she said pretty much that that uh, the project's right in the balance now and uh, it, it needs that help and support to uh, move forward. So I'm, we really look forward to seeing where it goes and what you do. Do you want to say a few words or? Yes. Go on then. Hello. <laughs> uh, I never imagined that I'd be in this place. It's uh, surreal. Thank you for having me here. And, um, I just want to say that it took me many years to get here. And I feel like I'm finally working from a place of love. Uh, and the family is really special to me. And I feel like I'm <laughs> very nervous. Um, but yeah, I think this is something that's been a dream for a long time to do something away from the commercial work that I've done for most of my life. And um, to make this something bigger than what it is even now. Uh, I want to get into a lot, a lot more analog procedures and work with my hands a bit more and possibly involve a lot more than just the family, but the people who create the community around them as well. So that's about it. Great. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you so much. Uh, I want to see what you do with this project. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting moment. Always, you know, when something's beginning to take some kind of shape and you don't know quite where it's going to go, that's, that's always the exciting thing. And uh, the second grant goes to Vanica Jane for a project. Uh, I travel, therefore I am. <laughs> Vanica, are you here? Hey, come out. Uh, for her wittily subversive engagement with the role of the image in the commodification of our visual culture. We live in strange times, and Vanica's response, full of absurdist humor, sly montage, and satirical words, too, uh, feel like the art that these times deserve. <laughs> so, Vanica, thanks for coming. Great, great pleasure. I'll just go through to, oh, I love this one of the credit girl. I'm using text as well. Great. Can I say a few words? Great. Okay. So I'm very nervous, so I, I have, I just wrote down something and then. So thank you to the jury and Shergil Sundaram Art Foundation for this photography grant. Um, it also feels extra special to receive this grant in the iconic Joseph Allenstein uh, Designed India International uh, Center. Uh, so I started working on this project back in 2019 and um, I've uh, till now looked at six different tourist destinations across India and now I intend to travel and understand more locations and uh, which have more distinct characteristics and landscapes and uh, wish to understand if the tourist place is universal and if it's the same everywhere. Thank you very much. Well, I think we've reached cocktail hour. I don't know if there are cocktails, but uh, here we are. Anyway, so thanks for bearing through. Congratulations to those who were honourably mentioned and to the uh, two winners, and thanks very much for coming. Um, good evening. My name is Latika Gupta, and I work at SSAS uh, as Director of Projects. And on behalf of the Foundation, I'd like to reiterate our gratitude to David Campany, Vidya Shivdas, Madhuban Mitra, for their time and thoughtful deliberations in the jury process. Thanks, David, for the fantastic talk and Madhuban for the discussion after. Congratulations, Pritika and Vamika. We are looking, really looking forward to following your work over the next year. And before we end, I'd like to thank Devika Dalit Singh, advisor to the Umrao Singh Shergil grant since its inception, Gayatri Uppal, associate director grant, Sarav Sil, who's in charge of visual design, media, and archives, Santosh Sani, our accounts executive, and Methli Bhavkar, who works on the archive and communications. Thank you again for joining us this evening. And you can follow us on social media and also follow our website, ssas.in, for the forthcoming programs. Thank you.